Hey, what's going on, guys? What's up? Four and a half minutes. Um. Oh. oh. <laughs> In today's episode of Short Theory, we are uh, going to be discussing the Bad Batch. Um. Yeah, sorry, I'm. Uh, I'm. Well, I wasn't really late. Still five minutes early. So I'll have you in chat. Where is he? What is he doing? I assume that's what you all sound like, just so you know. So, uh, so we ready tonight? What's going on? Episode 13, all killer, no filler, baby. We only got four episodes left. We got 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is it. Um, do or die. Oh, wait, what? What? <laughs> Why someone say do or die? Hello, my friend. Hype for tonight's episode. I got a good feeling about it. I hope you're well, brother. I'm good, man. I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm pumped. I just had some late night dinner real quick, and then um, now I'm here. Like, oh. I was writing a fan fiction earlier. Uh, what if Qui-Gon Jinn was in Revenge of the Sith? Um, so it's going to be a little bit different than what if Qui-Gon Jinn survived. It's going to be like a different rendition, because um, last time I made that was like... Dude, I think four years ago? We're coming up on five years. In a week, it'll be the five-year anniversary that I've been on YouTube, which is pretty cool. So, thank you, guys. Gonk, if you're hyped, says Jack. What's up, Jack? What's going on, man? What's going on? What's for lunch? No, it was dinner, so it's almost midnight over here. You must be uh, Australian? I'm, I'm guessing Australia, you guys are, like, what, 1 p.m. right now? What are you? What time is it for you guys? 2 p.m.? Someone's gonna die this episode. I'm calling it. Okay, let me let me put that up as a poll. Okay, will someone die this episode? All right, poll is up. Let's see what you guys are saying. Three minutes. Oh, I guess I need to put the stopwatch up. Stopwatch. Do do do. There we go. There we go. Oh, the thingies aren't even on. My twinkly lights. There we go. Now they're on. The lights weren't on, master. Wait, what the hell happened here? There we go. Alright. We're good. What time is it for everybody? Where y'all at? 1.30 p.m. Uh, 3 a.m. in Indiana. Right, I guess you guys are three hours ahead. Skipper, thanks. We almost thought you forgot. No, I never forget. What do you mean? Dude, I, every moment that my eyes are awake, or every moment that my eyes are open, I'm, I'm, I'm working, man. I never forget. I forget other things in my life. Okay, we got 30 seconds left. Theory, my man, great to see you again. Quick two questions, Jedi or Sith, and what two different colored lightsabers? Ooh, uh, not a Jedi, I'm not a Sith. I guess if I have to choose, I'm a Jedi. But I'd be like a, I'd be like a Qui-Gon Jedi. Yeah, I wouldn't be like a Mace Windu Jedi. He was kind of a butthole. And then colors, I guess, green and red. I just sent a message to uh, someone for make cool thumbnails, venture pictures, shout out, shout out to venture pictures. He makes some cool stuff. Okay, it's midnight, so let's roll. Mm -hmm. Infested, 29 minutes. 
To save a friend, the Bad Batch plot a mission to sabotage a gangster's operation. Okay. We ready? Three, two, one. There we go. Now it's on sync. Huh. What the hell? Is this the old Republic? What?
Nest of Gundarks? I don't know. That's possible. That'd be a funny little uh, callback. Holy moly.
It's cool seeing them again. I mean, I don't mean to be like a complainer or a Debbie Downer, but I just feel like this whole show is like just a couple episodes of the main plot and just a whole bunch of other episodes of just like random little missions that start and end with each episode. It's a beautiful show. I love the show. Animation, music, everything's perfect, but come on, man. Like, I don't... There's four episodes left. So like, why are we doing these mundane missions all the time? Like, if we had another, like, 10, 15 episodes, I'd be like, okay, cool, yeah, whatever, you know, but. I want more, and I don't know I shouldn't. You feel me? I'm not complaining, like, it's a great show, but. You know what I mean? Just, like, come on, dude. Stop complaining, says Coben. I can't say anything. Jesus.
Dude, thanks, Marius. Thanks, Obi Wan. Count Dooku bold but foolish. Crosshair going to save them. Yeah, he's probably going to roll in at like the last second at the end of this episode and just make everything more difficult. I feel you, Judah. I feel you, Joshua. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Hill, thanks, man. Ooh, mall with an appearance with the pikes. That would be worth it. Hmm. For salvation. <laughs> <laughs <laughs> Meant to say this earlier, fool of a took. What is that? Are they really going to end the episode? Wow, it's really over. That was by far my least favorite episode of the entire show. That was... That was literally a 1 out of 10 for me. And it pains me to say that because it's Star Wars, but I gotta be real, dude. It sucked. <laughs> what the hell was that? Like, could literally... Uh... Uh, I hate when this happens because then I become all toxic. Toxic! He's so toxic! Use your platform for good! No, dude, look. We didn't need that episode. That was filler, 
And I, I'm not one to say f episodes of filler, but that was filler. It was a filler episode. Um, it didn't really do much for, like, we've already established that Hunter is the caretaker mainly for Omega. We've established Omega is smart, she's intelligent, she's skilled. We've established she's very caring. Um, it did nothing. It introduced the Pikes again, which could introduce Maul, but it did nothing. Animation and everything, music aside, beautiful, 10 out of 10. But... Um, you know, with only so few episodes left, I I'm like, mm, come on, give me a little, give me a little something, man. Give me a little more than this. I feel like, like, like I'm looking at all these episodes here. I don't know if I can show it on screen. Like, I'm looking at all these episodes, and a lot of them are just legit, like... They don't really follow the storyline. Like, I mean, and I can't say that because I didn't create the show. It's just, it's, you know, whatever the show. Uh, Dave Floney created the show and he's like God. So, it's, you know, I, I can't say anything. But I'm just thinking for sure we're going to get two, three seasons. But, you know, just based on how much filler there is, there's no way that they can end all of this that quickly, you know? Um, and then just like cut it and that oh that's the end of the bad batch we're not gonna do anymore there's there's definitely gonna be more seasons 100 percent. so that's pretty much what this episode confirmed for me um three episodes left and that's what they gave us we we drive further away from greatness as this show goes on they will probably give us a big ending but that won't make up for these shit episodes right i yeah look 100 percent. i think that um i think you know when they wrote the script for the show for the first season they obviously had a plan they had like an end episode what we're gonna what's gonna happen and where should we cut seasons and all that and they obviously know where it's gonna end and they have that all figured out and, and the plot line is all figured out for all that and the episodes are all done so they're like okay you know what let's just fill in a couple fill, couple filler episodes until we get to the end of the season but my thoughts are it's like <clears throat> Okay, I get, get what you're doing, so it's probably like episode 14, 15, and 16 are going to be bangers. But I feel like this episode was really the one to set up the next one, but we were just left with nothing. Like, like we could have not seen this episode and we'd be fine, we'd still get it. Uh, Bailey says, you're an idiot! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. It is setting up a character growth of Sid. She is more important than you know. Great. Well, we also could have gotten character development for Sid in other ways, too. I just feel like it was boring. I don't think that makes me an idiot. I think I just want a little more... Um, story? Explained? For, like, the last several episodes? So... Holy F, I stayed up all night hoping it would pick up, and bruh, holy shit. Yeah. All right, episode, but there's only three episodes. These fillers have dragged on way too effing much. One thought, Gregor is going to die. <clears throat> uh, two, seemed like Gregor was getting weak. Maybe the chip affected his strength. Love the content. Gregor? Gregor? Am I missing something? Um, you aren't toxic. The vast majority of us agree with you. Oh, thanks. I stayed up till 3 a.m. For, for, for that, and I guess I was wrong with someone dying. I thought they were going to continue with Hauser and Crosshair. Yeah, that would have been cool. Can you do this in your voice, in your Anakin voice? Something's wrong. It's not the show. It should be. I want more than I show it. No, it shouldn't. <clears throat> Something's wrong. It's not the show it should be. I want more. And I know I shouldn't. Pretty much. Fillers. No more fillers, okay? Hey, Timify. I really stayed up until 3 a.m. for this. I'm disappointed. I think homeless guy shows up in New Hope. You mean the Daveronian? No, but he was red in A New Hope. I know who you're talking about. He was red. This guy was like yellow. Where is this going? I'm concerned, says Nicholas. This episode was last Jedi level bad. 
that's an interesting comparison. I think there's a difference between no. Well, the difference is between this and the last Jedi was that there's there's a plan, there's an end episode. Uh, worst episode ever, one out of ten. Okay, let me put up a poll and we can get what everyone thinks. Did you like this episode? Ask your community. All right, there we go. Book of Boba better not be like this. It won't be. Book of Boba is like a, I think it's gonna be pretty, pretty banging. Kanye let me down, hopefully this doesn't. <laughs> Ouch, 77% dislike the episode. 23% like it, that's good. 24% like it, that's good. Let's call Wrecker Gregor from now on. <laughs> not even a hint at a character. Awful episode. I'm starting to feel like we may not see Vader. Do you think I'm wrong? No, I don't, I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel that too. I don't know what to do for this breakdown. I really don't. Like, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to say? There's nothing to break down. I mean, maybe with the pikes, I could explain the pikes, but I've got, done like 10 videos on the pikes. Mm. I thought it was a nest of gundarks, but that would have been a cool little uh, uh, funny, I guess. But uh, There's literally nothing I, like... Like, I really don't even know what to do for the breakdown. Like, I, I don't know. I'm sure next week's episode will be good. Thanks, it's always general theory. Even though the episode was a meh episode, always cool hanging out with you. Hey, always cool having you guys here, man. It's not like they're telling a true storyline, more like following the crazy jumble of a creator's mind following plot bunnies. Well, you know, the thing with this episode is that George Lucas, not this episode, this, this show, George Lucas was the one who wanted the Bad Batch. And I love the show. I love the Bad Batch. I'm heavily invested in the characters. That's why I feel so um, strongly about tonight's episode. I feel like we could have gotten something a little more interesting, you know, something with Kamino, something with Phase 3 clone troopers, something with Cad Bane, you know, follow Cad Bane's story. Heck, take me back to Ryloth. I don't care. When Wrecker dropped the flashlight, it was very Minds of Moria-esque in Lord of the Rings. I agree, episode is very flat. Crap episode, really worrying for the finale. I fear the end may end up being less climactic than we may think. Doesn't make sense to do filler this late. <clears throat> yeah, I agree with you. This was like a Mando season two, episode two kind of episode. You know? If they do this for more seasons, they should drop three episodes a week. We went from Crosshair being granted permission to hunt down Clone Force 99 to another meaningless side mission, 1 out of 10. What happened to Hauser? Yeah, dude, I'm 100% with you, man. And I'm trying not to be toxic by having an opinion because apparently I have to love every single thing that comes out. But uh, yeah, dude, it was, what the hell? What was this? I thought Gregor was going to die. Seemed like Gregor was getting weak. Maybe the chip affected it. Uh, okay, right. I think you mean Wrecker. I think I read that one already. Um, did I miss a few? Watched every episode, lost interest after episode. Right. Sir, have you been consuming death sticks? No. No, I have not. Um, are we just expecting too much that the last few seasons of Clone Wars spoil us at all? Uh, spoil this all. I mean, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't epic. No, I feel you, Christina. Like, I'm not trying to, like, be a, you know, a complainer. But literally, like what that person just said. Last episode, we left with, like, a huge cliffhanger. Crosshair getting the green light to go and hunt down his brothers and kill him, which is what we've been waiting for the entire show. And then we get this, like, episode that's just... We could have done without. I mean, it was entertaining, um, partially, but we didn't need it, you know? It was 
It's just another typical Sid episode. I mean, what can I say? Do a breakdown about filler episodes. Dude, honestly, I think I might, like, for the breakdown, I think I'm just going to, like, sit here. Like, once I finish this stream, I'm just going to sit here and record and be like, I don't have anything to break down. And I know there are going to be, like, other channels that are, like, 20 Easter eggs found the night's episode. It's like, okay. I don't really have much to say, though. <laughs> like, just don't. Um, for everyone saying it's Visago from Rebels, it isn't Visago. still has both his horns. Skip breakdown, strike protest till Boba. No, dude, I love this show. I really genuinely like The Bad Batch. Tonight's episode was just weak, that's all. They probably had an extra slot to fill in and be like, look, we need to jump to episode 14. What are we going to do? We're going to do another Sid mission. That's probably it. Terrible writing. Why would they not just shoot the pikes and leave? They were dead ass, no witnesses. <laughs> Omega feels bad for a crime boss. Like, huh? Yeah, dude, I'm starting. You know, I love Omega. I'm starting to get. My. For Omega, I was like, okay, she's really annoying. And then I'm like, nah, I really love her. And then now she's starting to get annoying. And it's like, everybody who comes in her way, she's like, no, save them. It's like, dude, this guy's a freaking criminal. And he, like, doesn't care about anybody. Like, what do you mean? Did Echo say any words? I don't think he did. I don't even remember him in this episode. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be in everything. The pikes were cool, but damn, 3 out of 10. Legit, the best thing of the episode was the hammerhead character dressed as the vintage figure in the blue onesie Easter egg. Where? Most of this isn't... Most of this, Shiz had the same problem Season 7 did where they had a limited season. And yet they had the gall to make filler episodes that add nothing to the story. I haven't been excited since episode one. Ryan Johnson directed this episode. Who directed this? Who wrote this episode? Was it Dave? Dude, if it was Dave, I'm telling you, like, he probably just needed a filler episode or something like that to, to I don't know. Let me see. Created by Dave Filoni based on Star Wars and characters by George Lucas. Supervising director, Brad Rao. Who who wrote who wrote it? Executive Oh wait, 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 wait. Here. Directed by written by Amanda Rose Munoz. Directed by Saul Ruiz. Okay, so it wasn't written by Dave. I guess he oversaw preparations. Snoke style. That's TV, folks. You know, some episodes are just um, there to keep us going to the next episode. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it works. That's fine. Whatever. People keep saying Five's helmet was in Sid's room. Was it? No. Where? Can, can you give me a timestamp? Come on, give me a timestamp of that, please. Uh, 153. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. I mean, I'm going to go back and watch it when I do the, the breakdown properly, but I didn't. Oh, shoot. You're right. Yeah, what the hell? Why is there a 501st helmet in there? It's bizarre. That's not a 501st helmet, though. Hold on. Oh, no, wait. It is. I can't see the top, though. I think there's some blue on the top, too. Mm. I'm, like, looking at reference photos online to see if it... It doesn't really match, to be honest. I don't need Master 5 first. So, 
It's not five and first. This is something else. Looks like a, maybe a pilot's helmet. Are you sure? I don't think so, my man. Later, white Mando and 212th on the wall. I saw the Mando. That's not Fives' helmet, though. Mm. Hmm. That's not fives. There's no fin on the back, and he doesn't have blue right here. It looks blue there, unless it's just dark. Ooh, that's tough, dude. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think it, I don't know. Why, why would his helmet even be there? Let me make sure. The character is Visago from Rebels Broken Horn. But didn't Visago have both horns? And also, this was... If Zago has his left horn cut, this dude had his right horn cut. So... It doesn't make sense. Not the same. Not the same guy. Plus, Visago had, like, a crazy accent. This dude didn't have an accent. Have you seen the poster competition for Vader Episode 2? I didn't know there was one. But that's cool. How stupid is Hunter always learning lessons? Um, I suppose. Anyone else got serious Gears of War vibes with the creature in the ruins? Yes! Reminded me of the Krill. Um, could you touch on the implications of the Batch getting into the underworld and how Maul could appear as an antagonist in a possible later season in the breakdown? I love the content. Keep it up, dude. Yeah, that's like, this is literally the only angle that I was going to try to go on for the breakdown. Because there ain't much else. Which is a cool concept, but... Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, could, could happen. I mean, that's probably the only reason that they put the pikes in there. Is that he's probably trying to band together the crime syndicate, like under the underworld. Most likely, especially now that Order 66 has taken place and he knows that Sidious and his apprentice are now... Ruling the galaxy. This show is more forgettable than algebra. <laughs> well, no one ever forgets algebra, so. I just want to skip to Kenobi before I get triggerly puffed. <laughs> what? What is triggerly puffed? Triggered? Uh, but if it's entertaining, still it can't be A1, right? Because it would be worse. Um, set up for Sid Death. Sucks to pay two for 50. Next episode title has been leaked. War Mantle. Hopefully big things coming next week. We say that every week, though. Nothing really happens. The only thing good about this episode was the pet. <laughs> I thought Omega already won her freedom playing Dejarek game. What are they still doing with Sid? I don't know. I'm kind of confused myself. Predicting Sid's going to die and the Bad Batch going to take over the shop. Also love your content, kind of stupid. Two dollars only gets you so much to type. Yeah, they gotta like inc increase these um these character limits with super chats. 
This episode was terrible, says Little King. Interesting episode, but really boring. Maybe some cool things down the line for maybe some live action action things, but nothing really happened. Did you ever watch WWF, WCW back in the day? And if so, what was your favorite wrestler? Uh, not really, but I, I liked I liked The Rock. I liked The Rock. I liked um. John Cena, probably was like one of my favorites. Just the typical ones, I suppose. I wasn't like too into it. Wouldn't Echo recognize Fives' helmet? Yeah, I don't think it was Fives. Sid is the worst character. Omega's getting there as well. Wrecker was pathetic. Hunter was just not present. Echo was not present. Echo was like not even there. That looks like Fives' helmet. Blue on the inside of the cheek. Yeah, but where's the fin? Maybe bringing in the pikes as a tie to Maul. Of course, it would have, it would have been done in a better way, probably. Yeah. This episode spreads the location of BB and Omega. It's stuff that can come back around down the road. You get a Padme Jar Jar ep after good arcs in Clone Wars. Yeah, you have a point. But I just feel like with so, only so few episodes left, they would just start now just going up. Thoughts on Hamill voicing Skeletor? I hope that show is worth his talents. Who? What? I don't know about this. What show? I want an animated show of Vader and the 501st right after Revenge of the Sith. Interesting to know what his relationship with the clones was like compared to, to, to Clone Wars. Yeah, uh, he didn't call them the 501st anymore. He called them Vader's Fist. Do you think the Martez sisters will appear in the Ahsoka show since it looks like they're working together? Probably. I feel like I just don't know where the story is going. Do you feel like the first season will end with Crosshair hunting down the Bad Batch and then leave the Clone Rebellion for season two? Um, that would be really annoying if they did that. I think something bigger has to come in. I think this show has to be much bigger than just, you know... Um, the Bad Batch fighting their brother. And I think the biggest one to come in should be Maul. I think that's probably who they're going to introduce at the end. Thanks for doing what you're doing, brother. I'm interested in learning about the Horn dude's family if they're powerful enough to have the Pikes think twice. Yeah, I don't know much about him. Show is one good episode in between five filler episodes. I feel that. Will Omega just paid back the money they owed Sid. I thought this episode would be about saving Captain Hauser. Did you think that? In season two, we'll see Ahsoka, Commander Gregor, or Tarkin. Do I thought this episode was going to be them getting blindsided by Crosshair. And Crosshair just, just, I don't know, like sniping one of them or something like that. And that would lead, you know, it would end maybe in, in Crosshair, like killing one of them. And then it would end in... I don't know. One of them even dying, perhaps. Maybe he kills Sid. I'm not really sure. Um, and then that's how the episode would end. And then it would be, you know, episode 14. And we could get maybe... Maybe we could get um, some sort of incorporation with the Pikes. Um, working with Sid or something like that for Spice and they could just like enter the scene or something for like two minutes and um you know we didn't need like a drawn out long episode like this and then the 15th episode could be possibly the Bad Batch just dismantling parts of the Empire completely uh Tarkin sends a whole bunch of let's say clones because he's still not ready for conscripted troops yet i suppose sends a whole bunch of clones and crosshair after the bad batch perhaps the bad batch dismantle a whole bunch of like imperial ships or something and crosshair gets demoted or fired or or terminated and they send in a bigger batter being vader
when I feel like the end of episode 15 could be... I don't know. Perhaps them just mentioning Mustafar or something like that. And, uh, and it ends and then episode 16 would be Vader... It depends how many seasons they want to drag this show on for. So I'm, I'm thinking like if they just want to end it all in season one. Just thinking off the top of my head. George Floyd at 719, a car at 121, a general, Trump at 744, Josh at 738, Dom Toretto at 1221. You guys are funny. Guys are funny. What future Star Wars projects are you looking forward to most? Kenobi. Kenobi and Acolyte. And Ahsoka. This episode was again a gap filler for me and no advancement to the character. Here, Omega believing in Durand. <clears throat> uh, looking forward to the next ep. Me too. I like this episode. It was slow, but weed makes everything. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't know. I've never smoked. Uh, these fake timestamp jokes getting old quick. Yeah, true that, but they're funny. Colton says his his rear end at 420. Nice. Maul told the syndicate leaders to go into hiding right before Order 66. Also, why was Wrecker getting so tired? Love your stuff, by the way. I don't feel like he was getting tired. I feel like he was... Well, yeah, I guess he was tired. Well, he was lugging all those things, so he's not a machine. I guess he could get tired. He's just a... Um, advanced being, I suppose. Or a... a perf he still gets tired. Not a droid. Um... Uh, these comments. Some of them I can't read. But they're funny. I see you. He's just a big kid working his butt off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Won't be surprised if Acolyte turns out to be shit. Oh my god. Bro. You're so toxic! You're being so toxic! Ah. No, I have faith. I have faith that Acolyte will be savage. It'll be a great show. And if it's gonna be doo-doo, then, well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> I, guess, <laughs> I guess I'll have another show to be toxic about, right? Uh, Mark Hamill, voice skeleton in the new Masters of the Universe series. Oh, cool. Starting today, along with Kevin Conroy? What? They're back together, Batman and Joker? How cool, man. Alright. It's, it's now just troll timestamps. Which I would love to sit here until the end of time and read, but uh... Sadly, I have a breakdown to make about an episode that uh, I don't really know what to talk about. So, um... I am going to, oh, hey, man, I love the streams, but for the watch party, it'd be nice if you didn't shit on the episode while it was going on. So if people want to watch along, they don't have to hear the negativity till after. Oh, sure. Okay. I didn't realize I did that during the episode. I usually try not to talk. I'm glad you enjoy them, though, for the most part. Um, Dude, honestly, I don't think Vader will come in at all. I just think that Vader is super busy right now. Hope I'm wrong, though. <laughs> uh, I love you too, man. You're probably right. You're probably right. That's just typical me being like, let's put Vader in there. How do you think they'll fit the finale into 30 minutes? Maybe the finale will be an hour. Project War Mantle was partially effective. Um... At 7.53 on the way in, Sid isn't tired at all, but Wrecker is. It was a bit weird. Yeah, that's because Wrecker was doing all the work. <laughs> that's why she took him down there, because he was, he was lugging it all. 
Um, <laughs> Jesus. Dude, some of these timestamps. I want to see these in every single... No, I actually did. These... Nah, yeah, yeah. I want to see these in every single uh, watch party from now on. These are too funny. If Vader is in there, it would have to make sense, as there won't be any point for the whole show to be like, look at all these episodes that suck, let's get Vader to kill them. Yeah. Well, they'll have to create some sort of a problem for the Empire that obviously the Empire can't handle by themselves, so they gotta send in the big guns. You missed my super chat. What was it? I'm sorry, man. Um... Hey man, I made a new channel. I was the Wacky Wampa. Oh, what's up, dude? Precision Power Gamer. Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> Everyone making fun of me for saying Gregor? It's okay. Your phone just typoed, right? You know, I, I get a, a feel for how old a lot of people are in these uh, this comment section right here, right now. It's okay. I, I, I'm getting a laugh. Wrecker is afraid of heights, that's why he was tired. I think he was just tired. I think he was just tired from pulling all those spice. Wasn't the half-horned guy in the Kanan comic? I don't remember. Was he? You'll have to forgive me, Master. I don't remember him. Okay, well, I'm gonna bounce. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next week, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Um, expect more videos coming out. I'm gonna start doing, like, two videos a day again. Um, going back to fan fictions. Uh, I'm going to be covering more comics. Um, yeah, just a lot of this stuff. Especially, it's like Bad Batch's ending. is It's going to be like probably a month where we won't have... No, actually, that's not true. I think Visions comes out like right after, right? We have four weeks left and Bad Batch is done. So I guess end of August. So, um, yeah. But anyways, yeah, expect like double the uploads maybe even triple let's see what's going on but i just feel like uploading oh and by the way i started uploading on my other channel fast facts again we're just like talk about cool facts um that fit in your daily schedule also like what was it the latest video was on um uh, med five medi medieval weapons that were pretty cool. it was pretty interesting i like that kind of stuff and then the other one was um um a, a new human planet that we can voyage to in the future so Check it out. It's called Fast Facts. Okay. I love you guys. You're killing me in the chat. Visions Watch Party? Oh, yeah, dude. 100%. We still have to do a Clone Wars 2000... What was it? 2003 Watch Party? Um, so... Vader's P sample at 7.34. Yes. This is, this is the 1 a.m. chat. This is where see, the viewership starts to go down. We had like 3,600 people, and now it's at like 2,000. It's just it's starting to get the real... <laughs> yeah, sorry. Ah. Uh, episode sucked, but timestamp comments making it worth it. And that's one of the reasons I'm staying, and because people keep sending super chats, which is always nice. Can you talk about Dom Toretto? Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Petition to make record Gregor. At the end of the episode, the last conversation Omega and Hunter have is basically about forgiveness. Maybe this will tie into Hunter's feelings about Crosshair. Possibly leading to a redemption arc. Yeah. Maybe. Mm 
bowl heads. Could you answer my previous super chat? I don't know what it was. Here we go. I feel like I just don't know where the story is going. Do you think the first season will end with Crosshair hunting down the Bad Batch and then leave the Clone Rebellion to season two? I certainly hope not. I feel like this season needs to have Crosshair die at the very end. And then we can focus on, you know, what's next? Um, have Crosshair die and then bring Maul in. You know, if you're not going to bring Vader. You need someone bigger than Crosshair. Crosshair's not really a huge villain, so just... He's probably going to be redeemed and killed and then um, bring in somebody bigger. No, Ventress is dead. She's already dead at this point. Whoa, Alistair. Thank you, man. What the hell? Nice to see you again. Hey, Theory. Long time. Good to see you again. I got a theory. I think the Bad Batch will evolve from the squad and turn into a clone legion called the Bad Batch. Of all the clones who rise up and defy the Empire in their own rebellion. Oh, I like that. So, like, Hauser would join. Remember how Hunter looked at Hauser? He was like, oh, I wish he could come with us and maybe he could join us. Join me. I feel like... I don't know if they would call themselves the Bad Batch. I feel like maybe they'd call themselves the... I don't know. Something cool. But, yeah, I like that. I like that idea. And thanks for that, man. Seriously. It's crazy. You vibing with that chat memeing is great. We love you, Theory. Keep up the great work. Yeah, sometimes I just like to chill with you guys. Well, all the time, actually. And I feel like it's only like late night where, uh, I don't know, it's just a different vibe. If you could um, choose the topic of the next film, what? A young Palpatine. Imagine if Echo dies by Vader's blade in episode 16. Yeah, that, that's what I want. Or Maul. It's the theme is look, you have someone who you think is like so super bad, and then there's someone above him who's even more bad, so it just like makes it more. That's what they tried to do with Snoke, I believe. It didn't really work out. All right. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go uh, work on that breakdown. Love you. Thanks for chilling. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And well, see you on the gaming channel, too. We're literally here watching at 3 a.m. for your real-time authentic reaction. I'm reluctant to call something filler, but I agree this was 100% filler. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, when will Order 66 hats be back in stock? So you guys have been killing it on the Order 60 Sick Hats, man. Order Sick Hats. Or the Order 60 Sick. Um, there's a few of you uh, who've been buying a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know if you're reselling them or not or what's going on, but whatever. Once you buy them, they're yours. Aloha, bro. Hope you have a great weekend. Love you, bro. Yo, Dutch Wookie. If you guys don't know, uh, Dutch Wookie is the guy who won a random Xbox Series X on my gaming channel like last week or two weeks ago. And I, I didn't announce I was going to do a contest. I was just like, I was going to go buy one myself and they're all sold out. And then he said something in the chat like, oh, maybe one day. And I'm like, I'll just buy you one. So I'm going to be doing more giveaways like that on this channel and on my gaming channel. So go check me out over there as well uh you guys are making this all possible so thanks man i didn't know you watched steve will do it yeah i love his channel that's probably like my the only channel i watch it's pretty entertaining it's really entertaining yeah <sighs> Hmm. 
Theory, I love the vibes in the chat at 1 a.m. Me, perfect breakfast television at 10 a.m. show. Anyway, sleep tight and don't stay up too late. May the force be with you. Oh, you know me, man. I always stay up late. Um. Hey, Nia Tuesday, do you like Star Wars? No. He said bye four times already, but I'm not complaining. I'll probably say it five times. You think it's possible that Omega isn't Force-sensitive? I know it was rumored, but so far there's no hints at all. By the way, please make me a mod. I think she could be Force-sensitive, but... I'm not really seeing any signs at this point. With great power comes great responsibility, right? I see you in the comment section in a six-year-old video about a shock mount, Lameo, super old comment. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm around like the weirdest, most random YouTube videos sometimes, so you might just see my comment. I'm like you guys, I, I watch stuff too, you know? I was so into chat, my phone died. That's good. Yeah, this chat is what's keeping me here. Can you read more timestamps? Obi-Wan's missing planet at 1523. Theory's hair at 69420. That's a good one. Um, you guys went cold on me. A building at 530. These are getting lame now. <laughs> shitty episode at one second. Oh, it wasn't shitty, but it just... Um, Let's speak on Hauser. Hauser's a super cool character. Um, <laughs> I can't read that one. That's very inappropriate. But it's funny. I can't read that one. A tree at 249. Okay, some of these are just getting... N not appropriate. Theory's butthole lips at 412. There you go. Jeans guy. Oh, you guys remember the jeans guy from The Mandalorian? Hey, Joshua Wong, um, chin up, bro. Okay, yeah, I guess this is it. This is the end. Vader shards of the past two at uh, 69, 420. Clever. Free Wi-Fi at 1231. Clever. Clever. Okay. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I love you. Thanks for chilling. See you later. Try it, master. You know you want to hit like. You will hit like.